Um, why is increasing Africa's research capacity and output important for the continent in terms of creating health policy for our continent and different countries? Where it is? Right. Okay. Well, um, from a basic perspective, um, you um, you have to when you create policy. Uh, you, the idea of creating policy is to address challenges. Uh, and the only way you can actually address the challenge is if you understand the challenge. And so, quite simply, you have to create knowledge in order to actually be effective and to actually do something uh, useful, something meaningful. Uh, and, and the way that you generate knowledge is through research. Um, so it's, it's, just, it's a fundamental, it's just basic that we need to create and generate the, the, the necessary or required knowledge to be effective and to actually have meaningful or useful uh, interventions in terms of, of policy. I think, uh, I think that's really important. Okay, yeah. so um, you mentioned in your talk that um, Africa as a continent has made, I think, 43 or something percent improvement in terms of authorship in papers. That's right, yes. So is it because we started from a small list, or not a small, but like a relatively small group of individuals who are publishing and now we have more publishers mm. or is it indicative of African researchers wanting their own um, ownership in terms right. of what research is out there and what output? Is right, there? I, I think um, the answer there would certainly, for me, I think it's yes. both. Um, you're absolutely right, we, we started from a very low base, mm -hmm. you know, um, if you start with one um, and you get another one, then you've, you've doubled. Yes. You know, so certainly we started from a very low base. I mean, I gave the statistic that um, even though we compromise, we, we comprise, we, we make up about twelve percent of the global population. We make up less than one percent of uh, of research knowledge. Uh, incidentally, it's a lot less than one percent. You know, um, and so yes, we did start from a very low base, and so that that's a part of it. But that's not the whole story. Yes. Um, there is a lot of work that's going on. Uh, in terms of development of, of capacity uh, and of ability to, to actually conduct research. And I think that's important. Mm -hmm. That's important. It's encouraging uh, and, and, and it's important that uh, that people get recognition for that because uh, it's not easy. Yes. It's not easy, but it's, uh, it's absolutely important that uh, that's also recognized. Malawi University of Science and Technology, also known nicely as MAST, that's MAST that's right. um, is a relatively young university. I think it's sure. less than five years old. That's right. And you moved, I think, from UCT, did your PhD at UCT, yes. then went to Massachusetts yeah. Lapila. So, what are the pros of establishing a research unit, um, unit in a relatively young university? Okay, um, you know, so a university needs to decide what uh, what it's going to be, what it's going to do. Um, I think universities need to be an important player in um, the development of of, of every country. And I think that's, that's being highlighted more. We're seeing the, the, the importance of that in um, all over the place in South Africa here with the, the type of transformative movements yes. that we're seeing. We need to, you know, we, we're seeing that how important universities are. Um, the difference between a university and a, and a secondary school or high school mm -hmm. uh, is that in these other institutions, you absorb knowledge and you, you, you impart knowledge. Yes. Uh, at the university it has to be about knowledge creation. Um, and if we're going to be a university and we're going to be a good one at that, that's, we have to immediately um, align ourselves and set ourselves up to do that. Um, and certainly Musk is, is keen to do that. Uh, we, that. That is our mission, that's our vision, uh, we have a strategic plan um, and we need to uh, generate research. But not just research for the sake of research. Um, going back to your first question, it needs to be research that will actually create the knowledge that we require to make the interventions that we require to actually make and uh, I also mentioned the point about entrepreneurial universities. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, um, that a university should actually take an active role. It should directly affect and impact the society that, that, that it's in through various you know, um, types of entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurship, you know, um, uh, innovations in, in, in different types of methods and, and ways of doing things. Um, the impact needs to be felt. Um, seriously. So um, I don't think we can be happy anymore to set up a university to just teach, you know, um, people be happy to walk away with, uh, with degrees, um, look and, and go looking for a job. The, the job markets just aren't there. 
you know so we have to really orient ourselves to be institutions that create knowledge and that create and produce solutions um, and that's exactly what must is, 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 uh, is geared to be and um, beyond that I mentioned that there are other public universities um, when must was created the focus was to look at where the gaps are uh, in the programs and activities that are being carried out by these other universities mm -hmm. and fill those gaps. And so that's, uh, that's a big part of what MUST is trying to do. Um, your talk highlighted the challenges in sourcing funding for equipment. Um, well, fortunately for you, you were successful at finding that funding. Yes. But how did the, the challenges you faced actually make you a better research and what skills did sure. you gain from that challenge? Right. So um, I, I think it's no different from any other uh, you know, academic or, or, or researcher um, taking on the challenge of, of raising funds and, uh, you know, uh, applying and, and uh, looking for grants and, and that sort of thing, you you get better. You know, that is, uh, it, uh, there's a rigor in that. Um, you're challenged, you know, um, in many, for many grants, people want preliminary data for, for, your, for your idea to be able to sell itself. That's how we get better. Mm -hmm. And um, I think certainly, um, that's, that, that's a big part of, uh, of uh, you know, what's happened at Musk. And uh, so I'd say that um, there's been improvement in, in, in all regards. You know, um, it's challenged me to think about what I'm doing. It's challenged me to think about how I present what I'm doing and the value of what I'm doing. Um, so certainly, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I think it's made me an all-round uh, better uh, academic, better scientist, better person. Thank you. Um, did the challenge make you become a more innovative thinker in terms of where you source funding? Because oh, people generally, like, mm. if you're at a research institute like UCT, there's the NIH, the Gates Foundation, but the other source of funding, we may not necessarily think about it because we're in, like, a big research unit. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very important point. And in fact, um, right there, I think you captured the essence of uh, what I was trying to, what I was trying to convey, that uh, we, we, we can get very uh, comfortable Right? Mm -hmm. um, we can get very comfortable. You walk into an institution that's already set up, mm -hmm. that's already got a track record, that's already equipped, um, that's already got research support structures. Um, everything is in place. You know, they've got access to journals. There's there's, there's money. Um, all of these things um, that are, are already there. And uh, I mean, to, if if we if we're being totally fair, uh, being at a university that is just starting out. Uh, you have to realize that it's historic mm -hmm. and it's once in a lifetime. Very yes. few people get to be there at the beginning of, of, of uh, such an endeavor. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think it's really, I've grown a whole lot from that. I've learned an incredible amount. Um, and you're absolutely right. You absolutely have to open uh, yourself up um, and think, you know, outside the box <laughs> um, and think about all the opportunities or all the possibilities uh, for, for resources that, that, that are out there. Um, that's been a large, a huge area of growth. Um, and I think uh, what I'd like to do is to challenge scientists uh, to really think beyond that. Because um, when you're in a well-established environment, oftentimes mm -hmm. what happens is that your, your path is sort of charted out for you. You know, uh, you kind of take it for granted. Okay, I'll graduate, I'll do this, I'll, I'll apply for my first grant and I'll do this. Mm -hmm. um, my, my path has been a little different, um, but I think it's been uh, hugely enriching.